This is how NBA rookies like to spend their first paychecks. And what Shaq bought almost made him go bankrupt. See, when Shaq entered the league back in 92, he was handed a million dollar endorsement deal. So what did young Shaq do? This man decided to hit the Benz dealership and pick up a nice whip for 150 bands. Fully blacked out limo tint Benz with some nice aftermarket rims. But it didn't stop there. When Shaq brought his new ride home, his dad asked him where his whip was. Shaq drove straight back to the dealership and dropped another 150 racks on another blacked out Benz. But come on, Shaq, you can't forget about your mom. Well, Shaq went back for a third time and dropped another 200 racks on a Benz coupe for his mom. 500 racks in under two hours. My man's thought he was in GTA or some shit. Well, it didn't stop there. He also decided to pay off his mama's house, and once his fam was taken care of, Shaq decided to splurge on some drip. This man dropped six figures on watches and jewelry. I spent a million dollars in 30 minutes. Because in my mind, 150 minus a million, I still got 850 left. I'm still good. So I get home. My father said, that's nice. Where's mine at? I was like, you know what? You're right. Me and him, we get in the car, go get the exact same car for him. We get home, my mom's a little jealous. Where's mine at? So we go and we get her the smaller Benz version. So we got three Benzes and and then after that, after I drop them off, I was like, I need some jewelry. So I, I buy a big old diamond ring similar to this one right here. But what <laughs> Shaq forgot to consider nearly made him go broke. And I get a call the next day from the, uh, uh, from the uh, a bank manager and shows me the spreadsheet of where all the money went. He says, Shaq, you know, athletes, when they're done playing, it's a large percentage that they have nothing. I don't want you to be like that. You need to learn how to take care and manage your money. See, Shaq forgot that he had to pay taxes on his million dollar paycheck. By the end of his 24 hour shopping spree, Shaq had a negative balance of over $80,000. Normally this would have ended in financial and legal trouble, but lucky for Shaq, he was family friends with the bank's manager. He let it slide, but he told Shaq that he needed to be smarter with his bread and to hire a financial manager. After that, Shaq got a business manager to control his money and invest it wisely. That one phone call is what changed his life forever. Now he owns multiple franchises like Five Guys, Papa John's, and Krispy Kremes, which added 400 mil to his net worth. Now we can't talk about rookies dropping bank on whips without talking about Trey Young. This man bought one of the nicest spec R8s I've ever seen. Matte black wrap, black rims, and a two-tone interior. Trey has one of the nicest V10s in the league. After dropping nearly 150k on his whip, my dude Trey decided to splurge on a 1.5 million dollar mansion as well. Seven car garage, a massive swimming pool, and a surround sound speaker system throughout the house left Trey's bank account a little bit lighter. Lucky for him, my man just signed a 200 million dollar contract with the Hawks. Next up, we got our boy Luca. After signing a $7 million deal with the Mavs, Luca decided it was time to splurge. This man went and copped three new whips. He dropped 100 bands on a blue, chrome, fully electric Porsche Panamera. If that wasn't enough to impress the bitches, he also went ahead and copped a cherry red A7 and a matching red 911 Turbo. Luckily, this car fanatic doesn't have to worry too much about his spending habits, because he just signed a $200 million max extension. See, buying flashy cars is sick and all, but sometimes you gotta take it to a whole nother level. That's exactly what Allen Iverson did. After getting drafted first overall by the 76ers, he spent almost all of his money on gifts, vacations, and new rides for his crew. See, when you're in the NBA, you can afford the lavish lifestyle, because you think the money's gonna keep flowing in. But Al took it way too far. One day when Al hopped off a flight from the airport, he realized he forgot where he parked his whip. Instead of looking around for it, this dude said F it and decided to just walk to the dealership and buy a brand new one instead. Al had a spending problem. This dude used to drop over 20 racks a month on food and was even known for throwing out 40 racks a night at um female companionship clubs. It's no surprise that Al nearly went broke by the end of his career. 
But lucky for him, he was saved by a unique brand deal. See, back in 02, he signed a deal with Reebok. This wasn't no ordinary deal though. Nah, Reebok put $32 million in a trust fund for Al. The catch? He could only access the trust in 2030. Eight more years to go, my man. And just like Al, Chris Paul dropped a fat stack on his boys. After getting drafted by the Hornets in 05, CP3 was making over three million a year. After cashing in his check, he took his boys out for a shopping spree. Amex Black Card. You know his shit getting declined. After his boys were taken care of, CP3 decided to drop 80 racks on some ice. He even bought a fully pimped out Escalade for 80 racks. And just like Al, Gilbert Arenas also dropped a big bag on a fully specked out Escalade, fully pimped out rims, custom suede interior, and five TVs inside. You gotta remember, this 2001, so you already know what was popping, the Escalade. That Escalade, the suede on the roof, give, give me the suede on the roof. I want the suede on the roof too. So I'm sitting with six TVs, I want four 12s in the back. <laughs> But Gilbert Arenas nearly went homeless after this purchase. See, this man didn't know how to budget and couldn't even afford gas for his brand new whip. He was even forced to sleep at the arena since he didn't have gas money. But I'm sitting on the bench, not playing, not getting any time, not practicing, don't have no money. Mm. I can, you know, I, can I spend can, it all. Yeah, I spent it all. So when I when they did my budget, I can only spend five hundred dollars a month. Yeah. So I had to stay at the arena sometimes. You slept in the I arena. I slept in the arena. A professional NBA player. Slept in the so arena. sleep was basically homeless. Basically, take yeah. me back to the park yeah, days again. I'm basically <laughs> homeless. That's right. But, but I just couldn't afford the gas all the time. Now, we all love Clay Thompson. He's a simple dude. This man straight up rejected a model because he was looking for a wholesome chick to spend time with his dog, Rocco. So obviously, his first purchase wasn't super crazy. After cashing in on his 1.7 mil rookie contract, he went to the store and he bought a pool table. Clay even went out and bought some designer drip so he could fit in with the other NBA players. But at the end of the day, he admitted that he probably only rocks 5% of that drip. At least Clay ain't got to stress about going broke. Just like Clay, the hype around Zion was huge. Brands lined up for him as he was almost guaranteed of being the first pick in the 2019 draft. Even when he got drafted to a smaller market in New Orleans instead of New York, he still signed a $75 million shoe deal with Jordan, the largest shoe deal ever signed by a rookie. On top of that, my man got a 10 mil contract from the Pelicans. But Zion didn't spend it all on himself. See, he decided that he wanted to give back to others. He dropped 40K on a custom Jeep Wrangler for his brother. He even went as far as paying the salaries of all the arena's workers for a month during the bubble. Look at Zion, man. So inspirational. Last up, we got the GOAT, LeBron James. Straight out of high school, this man's net worth shot up nearly 100 mil. He got an 18 mil NBA contract and another 90 mil from Nike. So what did LeBron buy with his first paycheck? A Lambo? An iced out VVS grill? How about a private jet? Nah, the first thing LeBron bought was an amusement park ticket for him and his boys. Now, these NBA rookies earned a fat bag throughout their career. So if you're trying to see some of the most expensive purchases made by NBA players, click this video right here. Go ahead, click it, man. You know you ain't got nothing else to do.